Hello scientists, I'm so glad you're here. I might be the award-winning scientist Professor Pipette, but I still need some help sometimes. My mom's birthday is coming up and I need to make a cake. The problem is, I have mixed up the ingredients in these cups and I forgot what the letters stand for. I'm not sure which ingredient is which. If I make a mistake, this cake is going to taste horribly wrong. Now, we might not be bakers, but we are scientists. Today, we'll be using our knowledge of science to help us observe and describe the physical and chemical properties of materials. The physical state of an item is called its physical properties. Things such as color, texture, shape, and magnetism are all physical properties. These are things we can observe using our five senses. Scientists use these properties to help them classify items. You can see that some of these items look pretty similar. Classification is important to scientists so that they can group things based on those similarities. Today, we're going to be observing the physical and chemical properties of borax, cornstarch, salt, sugar, and baking soda. In order to observe the chemical reactions, we'll need a few different solutions to possibly cause a reaction. For this, we'll be using three droppers, a small cup of water, vinegar, and iodine. We'll record our observations on a property chart. This way, we don't get the substances mixed up. Physical properties are generally pretty easy to discuss because we can see them immediately. Let's begin to fill in our properties chart by starting with color. Hmm. I notice that all of these items are white. Although this is a good observation, this wouldn't really help us determine the difference between them. Let's move on to the next observable property, grain size. This means how large are the individual pieces of the substances. I can see that salt and sugar are very small. They're just tiny crystals. It seems borax, cornstarch, and baking soda are more of a powder. You might have noticed that we have a lot of the same things on our chart. That's okay. When physical properties are the same for a substance, scientists need to rely on chemical properties to help them identify the substance. Remember, a chemical property is how a substance reacts to other substances. We're going to test using these right here. The first test will be with water. Let's see what the water did to these substances. Our A substance hardened and clumped up. Our B cup turned a little bit yellow. The water in our C cup made one big chunk. The D substance got very hard. And last but not least, it looked like the water dissolved our E substance. Next, let's see what vinegar will do. Let's see how the vinegar reacted with our substances. The A substance hardened, where the B substance changed appearance and is still a little bit yellow. Our C substance seems to have dissolved and hardened. The D substance bubbled and fizzed, and our E substance is completely dissolved. The last reaction to test is iodine. Let's see how iodine reacted with all of our substances. I notice a change of appearance in substance A, and it seems to have hardened. In substance B, I also have a change of appearance. It's a different color though than substance A. Substance C, the iodine seems to have made this substance clump up. Substance D, um, it looks like it's still a little bit orange and there are smaller clumps than substance C. I notice that in substance E, I get more of a reddish color and I have a mixture of smaller clumps and larger clumps. Let's take a look at the chart one more time. Most of the physical properties were the same, but the chemical properties differed a bit more. Scientists use physical and chemical properties in the real world to test materials, create medicines, and make communities and products safer for use. Anytime you observe things in the future, you are observing the properties of matter that make up the world around us. Now, I think I can determine which is salt and which is sugar. 
I think my mom will love her cake. Well, I better get off to baking. <laughs>